Hi guys. So today's Vlogmas is definitely going to be one for the books. Um, first of all, let me just tell you, I've lost track of my Vlogmas days on posting every single day and stuff. So, cause I know I missed one day this month of not posting a video. Um, my little one. So I haven't been titling the numbers for this. So we're just going to title every single video, another Vlogmas video. So anyways, um, I have something special to share with you guys after I share this one thing with you first. Um, so please stay tuned to listen to this special thing because it's, it's a special thing. And I share everything with you guys. So, um, first of all, I want to share with you guys that I've really enjoyed doing this Vlogmas stuff and posting videos every single day. It's definitely been a challenge, but I've definitely enjoyed doing it. And since the Vlogmas is almost over with, because it's the end of the month, um, I wanted to do something a little extra fun and a little extra special for all of y'all. So tomorrow, <clears throat> my aunt actually has the day off because you guys know I'm all here seeing my aunt for Christmas and New Year's. Uh, tomorrow, my aunt has the day off and I'm going to be hanging out with my aunt and we're going to be doing some errands and stuff. So I thought it would be really fun if I did an extra long live video tomorrow. And when I say extra I mean, extra, extra long. I'm talking about you guys get to hang out with me for a whole entire day. Now, I want to do this also because of the fact that when I do my live videos, I realize that everybody can't come on at that certain time that I'm doing my live video because, of course, you guys are either working or doing something else. You guys have lives. So... Um, this is going to give everyone a chance to just be able to pop in anytime tomorrow and come say hi when you guys have a chance. Um, so I thought that would be awesome. So I'm pretty much going to have my camera going for the whole entire day tomorrow. So you guys get to see what I'm doing tomorrow all day long with my aunt. I haven't decided exactly when I'm going to start this. I'm thinking around 10 o'clock in the morning and that's Texas time. So, um, so yeah, I'm thinking about starting it at 10 o'clock in the morning cause I need to get up. I need to brush my teeth and take a shower and stuff. Little one, what are you doing? And, uh, get dressed and then I can start the video. So, but I'll schedule the video tonight on what time I'm going to, to start the video. And then, yeah, it's going to be an all day live video with this face right here. And my aunt's face, because she's going to be hanging out with me all day tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know how long I'll go for. Ideally, I would like to do this for the whole entire day up until nighttime falls um because i think that would be pretty awesome if you guys could just hang out with me for a whole day and then that also gives everyone time to be able to pop on and say hi if they wanted to um so yeah i'll schedule that all out tonight and uh i think it's going to be a fun one i'm pretty excited should be interesting. I figured to do it tomorrow also because I figure a lot of people have the day off. I know my aunt has the day off for a four day weekend and, um, and it's towards the end of the month. So no more seeing this right here every single day after this month is over, but you guys will still see me every week though. So yeah, look out for the scheduled video or just come to my channel tomorrow and Click on the live video. I'll be there. <laughs> so now to get to the special thing I want to share with you guys. The reason 
I know this video is coming out a little late today and I normally try to have my videos out earlier, but today I've had a lot going on. Um, it's been an emotional roller coaster of emotions today for me. Um, it's been a lot. <laughs> so you guys know that I always share everything with you guys and I always share my life story and then just everything with you guys. Um, so I feel like I told my aunt earlier, I was like, man, I feel like my whole entire life could be put into an award winning book, you know, like an award winning novel. Like it's, it's just never, it's never ending. And, uh, I think that has a lot to do with what my emotional emotions have been going all over the place today is just because it's, it's a lot. <laughs> um, so about a month ago, I did two DNA tests and I took the ancestry.com test and I took the 23andMe test and I sent off my DNA to both of the, uh, both of the, the things or whatever. And I got my results back from Ancestry.com day before yesterday. Um, and that, that website's a little confusing. So I was kind of, before I got excited about anything or tried to really dig into it more, I was kind of waiting on my results to come back from 23andMe. And I'm glad I waited. So 23andMe is definitely a lot easier to figure out and understand. Um, first of all, I'll tell you this one. Um, on 23andMe, so my mother had a son before I was born, uh, six years before I was born. And she was really young when she got pregnant. And so when she had a son, she gave up the son for adoption. So I've always known that I had a brother out there. Um, I always knew that my mom gave up a son for adoption. My aunt always knew everything. Um, I found my brother. <laughs> so um, I got the results from Ancestry.com pretty late last night, and I have barely gotten any sleep today, or last night, and or today. And uh, so I sent him a message, and when I woke up uh, this morning, I got a message back from him. And we've kind of been back and forth this morning with emails and stuff, and he's at work right now. So when he gets off work, he's going to email me again. But we were emailing each other a lot. Um, I sent him pictures of my mom. I um, gave him my social media pages and stuff so he could see what I look like. Um, I've seen pictures of him and, oh, my God, guys, like, he is my mother's identical twin in the face. It is, it is so crazy. I found all this stuff out last night at midnight. So my aunt was in the bed sleeping. Um, it took all that I could not to go and wake her up, but she had to work really early this morning. But I set my alarm clock for 630 this morning because I knew she'd be up then. And as soon as she woke up, I was out there and, uh, I started showing her, as soon as I showed her the picture, pictures of him, uh, her face kind of froze. And she said the same thing. Looked just like my mom. Like, it, it's just so crazy. Um, I'm not really good at telling whether I look like somebody or something like I can never figure out if I look like my dad or my mom. I'm, I'm just not good with that, but I can see it in other people, just not with me. Um, so my brother is kind of, um, excited also because he said that he sees so much resemblance in the two of us and that we look so much alike. 
I can't quit looking at his pictures all day today. I've put his pictures up against my mom's pictures. I've put his pictures up against my pictures. And in a way, I sort of do. There's one picture of him where I kind of see myself in him. So it's absolutely crazy. He lives in Savannah, Georgia, where I'm from and where I grew up. And you guys know I was just in Savannah a month ago. Um, he's only six years older than me. So it's like back then, back in the day, Savannah wasn't as huge as it is right now. So it's just, it's just a little mind boggling. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the first thing I'm pretty excited about. Cause as you guys know, I grew up as a single child <laughs> and I'm not going to go into all my backstory and everything because I've already done that through some of my other videos and also now he's following my channel and I haven't really sat down and and we haven't really like physically talked yet and I've asked him not to watch those life story videos of mine yet because I'd like to be able to talk to him and tell him about my mom and childhood and all that you know, personally, and I don't want him to, to see it in my videos. So, so you guys know, if you've seen my other videos, how much this means to me tremendously, tremendously. Um, so the second match that I had, um, as you guys all know, the situation with my father, um, he, uh, you know, I, I, I searched for him and I met him for the very first time when I was 30 years old. Um, and then we, you know, I moved to Vegas, got to know him and had a relationship with him. You guys know that whole story also. Um, my dad was always very secretive about his family. I knew nothing about his family, but I never let that bother me because I was just happy and thankful to have met him and to finally have him in my life. Um, my dad was a very stubborn and difficult man. Um, yeah, so I did ask my dad multiple times throughout all the years if he had any kids. And he said, no. Well, I have a sister that is 11 years older than me from my dad. That was very shocking. And that's why I'm going through an emotional roller coaster today is about the sister thing. I actually, I was so excited about my brother because I knew about my brother, you know, and I messaged him right away right away. But my sister, I was having a hard time messaging her um, because I was just trying to process all that. It's a lot to process. Um, and I know what you guys are thinking, you guys, some of y'all are going to say in the comments, well, maybe he didn't know. Maybe he didn't. But for some reason, I think he knew. Um, and there's just certain reasons why I think he knew. Um, so yeah, I finally just messaged her back. It's, it's been wrecking my brain all day today. I've done nothing but lay in this bed right here. Just thinking about all of it. And, uh, finally I messaged her about an hour ago. So, I am now waiting to hear back from her. So, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, she has listed on her profile, on her uh, DNA pages, my dad's full name, his parents' name, and, uh, and she was my highest match out of everyone. So, yeah, that's what I'm dealing with right now. And uh, 
all the emotions that I'm going through. It's it's uh it's been a lot to process today, a lot. Um, as far as my brother goes, I'm so ecstatic and so excited um, to finally have found him. He has a daughter. That means I'm an aunt <laughs> now. Um, my aunt is excited too. He seems excited. Um, I can't wait to to get the email from him. You know, like I I'm I'm over beyond excited about finding my brother. And if you're watching this right now, can't wait to get your email from you later. And I cannot wait till the day comes that we finally, finally, finally get to meet. So the reason I've been having the mixed emotions, though, is because of my sister. So that was a complete shock to me. And from her page, if I was reading it correctly, it seems like I may have a brother also. Um, because she said she was looking for her sister and brother from her dad. And my brother that I just found is not from my dad. He's actually from my mom. Uh, so yeah, so they're both half you know, that he's my half brother and she's my half sister. Um, so yeah, so I'm just, I'm just waiting to get that message back. So yeah, that's what's going on. And just wanted to share that with you guys. And, um, I'm excited to see where all this goes. I wish this all would have happened with my brother a month ago. Cause I was in Savannah a month ago. Um, but I travel the States, you know, I'm sure we're definitely going to make that happen and meet sooner or later. That's what he said in the email too earlier was sooner or later. So that was pretty awesome. So 45 years old and I'm not a single child anymore. I actually have a brother and sister and possibly another brother. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot, a whole lot. So, I'm going to take the rest of this day and uh, just do some more relaxing, wait on my aunt to get home, and uh, probably go to bed early and get a decent night rest of sleep because um, I didn't get any last night. And then plus I have a long day of hanging out with 14,187 people. <laughs> that's all you guys. I don't think all you guys will be there tomorrow, but that's all you guys on my channel. So, yeah. So I look forward to seeing all you guys tomorrow. And I'm really glad that I can share everything with you guys. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a lot of people to share things with, you know? So, um, obviously I have my best friend, my aunt, and I share everything with her, but sometimes it's nice to be able to share with others too. So I think that's why I enjoy sharing with you guys. And I just like sharing my story. And obviously it has reached out to a lot of people, my whole entire story. So that makes me feel good to hear, um, Hear that it reaches out to you guys also. So, hope everyone is bundled up for this winter storm and uh, staying warm. Any of my fellow travelers that are out there that are on this video, I hope you guys uh, have managed to find a place to stay warm. If you're up there dealing with uh, that hot mess of a winter storm, I mean, even down here where I'm at in Texas, it's it's going to be 15 degrees tonight. 15 degrees where I'm at. I mean, we don't have it as bad as what you guys are getting it right there up north, but 
That's pretty cold for Texas. And I have to say, I'm pretty glad that I came here for the holidays because this would have been rough sleeping in my Jeep in this cold weather. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video now. This is your Vlogmas video. And uh, get ready to hang out with me as long as you want to tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow.